Virunga is extremely important for many reasons. It's biologically the most valuable park in, in Africa. It has the highest number of species of birds, reptiles and mammals for any park in, in Africa. But also it's a park that has three taxa, three types of, of great apes. And there's no other park, no other protected area in the world that has that. Moi, pour moi, quand on dit que le parc de Virunga c'est un patrimoine mondial, Je ne, je ne me retrouve pas, je ne sais pas ce qu'il rapporte à la population, à nous la population. Si les parcs pouvaient ne que faire bénéficier de la population, soit des études des enfants, soit donner de l'emploi aux enfants qui sont chômeurs, parce qu'ici presque tout le monde ne travaille pas. Nous devons sensibiliser les gens, donc nous devons parler à chacun d'entre nous, juste leur montrer que prendre soin des animaux, prendre soin de ce environnement, it's very, very important, and there is uh, much, much value which they can get from this environment. The park is surrounded by some of the densest human populations, and they have very considerable needs. It's an area that has been impoverished by years of political unrest. Those communities and their economies need to be revived, and a more recent pressure, which is of, of very great concern for the future of the park, is the issue of petrol. There is a belief that there are, there are large oil deposits under the park. Si il pouvait y avoir, si on pouvait utiliser le pétrole pour améliorer la condition de vie de, de la population, ça pouvait avoir un impact. Mais nous, on se demande si on va extraire le pétrole, est-ce que ça va servir à, à nos populations? C'est ça la question qu'on se pose. Mineral extraction, the oil industry can be very positive um, if it's extremely well managed, but it's a very sensitive industry because if you look at examples elsewhere in Africa, you get very um, strong examples of poor practice with catastrophic results where very little is returned to the local economy in the long term. Um, and there is enormous environmental damage. Um, and so it, it, it compromises other forms of industry that could have developed. So obviously tourism is one, um, and although the situation is extremely difficult at the moment, that can change very rapidly, as it did a few years ago, when we were able to relaunch tourism and demonstrate that um, it can be possibly one of the greatest job creators um, in this region. Um, and um, be the, the initiator for all sorts of industries that revolve around the tourism activities that the park can offer. Um, and that's an, an extremely important example because it creates a young generation of Congolese who are highly qualified um, with long-term careers ahead of them. Um, and that's real development. L'entreprise Soko est en train de dire qu'elle qu va embaucher la population locale, mais elle utilise les gens d'ailleurs. D'ailleurs, d'ailleurs, euh, dans l'exploration du pétrole ici, nous n'avons pas de spécialistes. Ce qui veut dire concrètement qu'on n'aura pas à embaucher la population locale parce que nous n'avons pas de spécialistes dans cette matière-là. Bon, ma chère, on ne pêche. Ma chère, on ne gagne pas. Il faut savoir non, ça va aller au guichet. Bon, par que maintenant on a une attente au Cédia, Kuchunga Bahar. Là, qui ne va pas nous arriver à tout mazingir. Basi hatu habitupendeza na sie bina tukwaza. Sibitaki kabisa vile vya soko. Wakatuambia sasa sanyi watakia tusha pale petrole. Tutenda wapi? At the end of the day it's for the Congolese people to decide if they choose to take the direction of the extractive industries at the expense of the park that's their decision it's their right to decide on their future. It's our job um, to do everything we can to convince them that it's worth investing in a sustainable industry um, that's tied to the um, long-term survival of this, of this national park.